A lot of people use Dropbox, but are you using it efficiently? I'm Jill Duffy for PCMag.com, and this is Get Organized, a weekly series of articles and videos about digital organization. And today I'm going to show you some really basic tips for using Dropbox. One really basic way to stay organized is to create a number of folders and label them by year. That way you know exactly what's inside of it. It contains all the files that are associated with that year. The year folders work really well for photos and documents, but not so great for music where the year is probably not what you think of when you're trying to find tracks. For that, you'll probably just want a general folder called music, but there's a second step, which is remapping your iTunes to find your music that's now located in your Dropbox account. So to remap iTunes, you just have to go to the Preferences and the Advanced tab, and you'll find the ability there. Something else I find useful is to think about Dropbox differently when I'm using the web app versus using the locally installed version on my desktop. You don't have to sync all of your folders to all of your machines. So for example, this camera uploads folder is one that I don't sync to my work computer, but I can always get to it from the web app. You'll get this folder automatically when you turn on the camera upload feature in the smartphone app for Dropbox. And what this feature does is automatically upload photos that you take with your smartphone so that they're always backed up and syncing with Dropbox. There's really a lot more heavy duty stuff you can do with Dropbox too, but this is really the basics. For PCMag.com, I'm Jill Duffy helping you stay organized. You can email me anytime at jill underscore duffy at PCMag.com.